Students won't be the only ones crunching the numbers this school year. Administrators are also trying to do some calculations to get them through the year. For most, that means budget cuts. These big yellow buses won't be traveling quite as far in lots of places. The high cost of gas has schools cutting back on things like field trips and getting kids to school. Montgomery County, Maryland has one of the largest school bus fleets in the U.S. Uh, every penny of change in our fuel costs is a $33,000 annual change in my budget. In some places, that means more students will be walking farther as buses are rerouted to include only those who live a greater distance from school. And high fuel costs are just one expense that's rising. Air conditioning and heating will cost more. Cafeteria food and classroom supplies also cost more. What's a school to do? Well, it's going to be a difficult situation and uh, we can expect that for several years in the future. Officials say educators know what they have to do. School people are are used to accommodating and being a, and being flexible and are, and are, and are uh, understand that their core mission is to educate kids. The option of four-day weeks is being tested in more than a dozen districts nationwide. About 100 districts made the switch years ago during the oil crisis in the 70s. In South Carolina, the high cost of fuel means old buses can't be replaced. The money is needed to buy gas instead. And elsewhere, the cuts go even deeper. The toughest thing we've had to do so far, in my opinion, is that we had to cut back about a million dollars this year in what we had available for new textbooks. Officials say, like parents, they are feeling the economic pinch, adding, the students come first, but some of the cuts are bound to be unpopular. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press.